and we'll get the door here. Welcome back to the Tiger Center at Lewis and Clark, the seventh hour math lab. Today we're working on Algebra 2. We're revisiting complex numbers, and this is practice 006, where we want to write an equation in standard form given two non-real complex zeros. The first thing I want to remind everybody is that if we had the roots 2 and 3 and we wanted to write an equation, we'd say x minus 2, x minus 3. I think we're all used to that, but when we have these complex ones, it looks like it's more difficult, but it isn't. Watch this. x minus, and we'll put a bracket, minus 2 plus 3i. And then x minus, minus 2, minus 3i. So there's our first step. Now, I think it's important that we make sure that we distribute the negative properly before we start expanding it. So the first one will become minus a minus, so x plus 2 minus 3i, good. And then x plus 2 plus 3i, good. Now, the help of a highlighter here, we have to take the x times everything. We have to take the 2 times everything. And then we need to take the negative 3i times everything. So it's quite the expansive process here. Now, here's a little trick that I use. I like to take each of these terms but spread them out to make adding them up easier. So let's go x times x. x squared. x times 2. 2x. x times 3i. 3xi. Now, when I go down to the next column, the 2, I'm going to put them with the like terms. Watch how I do this. 2 times x. Well, that's a positive 2x. Two, 2 times 2, that's a positive 4. And 2 times 3i. 2 times 3i. Well, that's 6i. I'm going to write it way out here. Now, the final term times everything. We'll get negative 3i times x. Negative 3xi. Notice I came down another column but I'm writing it with like terms. Negative 3i times 2. Negative 3i times 2. Good. Minus 6i. Putting it with like terms. And then the last one, careful here, negative 3i times 3i. Negative 9i squared. Now we can add them up. x squared plus 4x, those cancel, plus 4, those cancel, minus 9i squared. Remember what i squared is? Good. Negative 1. So negative 9 times negative 1 is going to give me a positive 9. So we'll have x squared plus 4x plus 4, plus 9. Good. We can add the like terms. Our final answer, x squared plus 4x plus 13. Good job. There's two more problems for you to practice on here. If this is easy, well that's great. But if you're having difficulties, make sure you stop by the 7th Hour Math Lab at Lewis & Clark so you can get on the train of success.